government has announced the normalization of working schedules in the public service. Arising from the COVID-19 pandemic, some working schedules in both the public and private sector were adjusted so as to minimize the spread of the coronavirus disease in the country. Minister of Health Dr. Jonas Chanda says the decision was guided by the reduction in COVID-19 cases. Government has decided to have working arrangements in the public service normalized considering the current reduced COVID-19 trends in the country. However, it is emphasized that adherence to the prescribed public health measures remains key in ensuring we do not get a preventable surge. Meanwhile, Dr. Chanda has cautioned that no parallel COVID-19 vaccination program will be allowed in the country. Only the government COVID-19 vaccination program will be followed. We will not allow importation of uh, fake vaccines eh, or any other shady deals to happen. Because the priority of government is to save Zambians uh, lives, you know, we don't want to harm the public and we're going to be very strict as the Minister of Health in terms of vaccine program management. So in the private sector that we're involving, I want to send a message to them that it will not be some go up, eh, free for all, where you just bring every form of vaccine. Medina, Matero, Kandingalinga, so it will not happen like that. The Minister of Health with Zamra will be totally in charge to ensure that vaccines, the sources where they are coming from, the efficacy, safety, we have, uh, you know, uh, taken care of that. And cabinet has given the power to the Minister of Health. So we'll be very, very strict. Eh? We'll not, it's not over liberalized vaccine, uh, you know, program. This is, there's only one government vaccine program in Zambia. And the Minister of Health and government itself, through the leadership of the president, is totally in charge. Private sector will play a role under supervision by the Minister of Health. And National Director for Infectious Diseases, Professor Lloyd Mlenga, has assured the country that the benefits of the AstraZeneca vaccine far outweigh the effects. When you look at the, also those risks and even what the European agencies have recommended, it's just highlighting it as a rare side effect. When you look at the contraceptives which we give to our people and look at which populations, not just the age, but also which other risk factors may not be good for a particular vaccine. Uh, I think that is important to emphasize the safety of this vaccine, but also to look at our local data on what may be applicable to our situation. In the last 24 hours, Zambia has recorded 206 COVID-19 cases out of 6,016 tests carried out. One death has also been recorded, bringing the total number of deaths to 1,225. There are currently 2,921 active cases, of whom 2,860, or 98 percent, are under community management, and 61 or 2 percent are admitted to COVID-19 isolation facilities. Among those admitted, 49 or 80 percent are on oxygen therapy and eight are in critical condition. So that is a key number to watch. The few people that are admitted, 80% are on oxygen therapy. So that has been the key uh, marker of the second wave compared to the first wave. Virginia Chilongo, Movie TV News, Lusaka.